Hercules and the Arimanthian Boar, an unforgettable adventure. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a hero named Hercules. Hercules was not just any hero. He was super strong, super brave, and well, super forgetful about cleaning his room. But that's a story for another day. One sunny morning, Hercules was munching on his breakfast cereal when he got a message delivered by Hermes, the speedy messenger god, who, by the way, could run faster than your school bus. Hercules, you've been given a big job, Hermes announced, out of breath from all the running. You must capture the Arimanthian boar, a creature that's been causing chaos in the mountains. And remember, no creature is too wild to deserve kindness and understanding. Hercules, with cereal still in his mouth, nodded. I'll do it, but uh, what's a boar? It's like a giant pig with tusks, Hermes explained, before zooming off to deliver more messages. And so, Hercules decided it was time for some action. But first, he needed to find his hero boots, which were lost under a mountain of toys in his room. With his boots finally on, after finding them in the laundry basket, Hercules set off on his journey to the Arimanthian Mountains. The path was not easy. It was filled with puzzles and riddles, like a giant maze designed by a trickster. As he trekked through thick forests and crossed rushing rivers, Hercules met a squirrel named Squeaky. Squeaky was no ordinary squirrel. He was a talking squirrel with a knack for telling jokes. Why did the hero flush the toilet? Squeaky asked with a mischievous grin. Hercules, puzzled, shook his head because it was his duty. Squeaky burst into laughter and so did Hercules. Together, they ventured deeper into the wilderness, solving riddles and sharing laughs, proving that no journey is too tough when you have a friend by your side. As Hercules and Squeaky approached the whispering woods, the trees began to murmur secrets and tales of the ancient world. The woods were rumored to be enchanted, where animals spoke and the wind sang melodies of old. In the heart of the woods, they encountered an owl named Ollie, who was known to be the wisest bird in the land. Ollie shared with them the secret to approaching the Arimanthian boar. The boar is scared and confused. It's been chased by many, but understood by none. Show kindness, and you shall see the gentle side of the beast. With this new knowledge, Hercules and Squeaky felt a sense of calm. They realized that sometimes the bravest act is to offer a hand, or paw, of friendship. Finally, Hercules and Squeaky reached the foot of the Arimanthian Mountains, where the ground was covered in snow and the air was crisp. They could see the tracks of the boar leading into a cave that echoed with growls and snorts. Remember Hercules' kindness, whispered Squeaky as they tiptoed into the cave. Inside, they found the Arimanthian boar, its fur covered in snowflakes, looking more scared than scary. Hercules gently approached, his hand outstretched, showing that he meant no harm. To their surprise, the boar calmed down, sniffed Hercules' hand, and then, in an unexpected turn of events, decided to give Hercules a slobbery lick of approval. With the airy Manthean boar, now calm and even a bit playful, Hercules and Squeaky led it out of the cave. But how were they going to get it back to where it belonged without causing a stir in the towns they passed? Hercules had an idea. He fashioned a giant leash out of vines and together with Squeaky, they walked with the boar, who they now called Boari, back through the forests, across the rivers, and through the whispering woods, which seemed to sing a cheerful tune at their return. Along the way, they met curious onlookers, but with Boari calmly walking beside Hercules, everyone was amazed. 
Is that the fearsome Arimanthian boar? They asked. To which Hercules would reply, He's not fearsome. He just needed a friend. When they returned, the people couldn't believe their eyes. Hercules had not only captured the Arimanthian boar, but also befriended it. There was a grand celebration with music, dancing, and lots of laughter. Even Hermes showed up, this time walking, to see the spectacle for himself. Hercules, you have completed your task with bravery and kindness, Hermes announced to everyone's cheer. You have taught us that understanding and compassion can tame the wildest hearts. And with that, the Arimanthian boar found a new home where it was loved and cared for. Hercules and Squeaky became heroes, not just for their strength and courage, but for their big hearts. As for Hercules, he learned that sometimes the mightiest power of all is a gentle spirit. And oh, he also remembered to clean his room, but only after Squeaky promised to help him sort his toys with a few more jokes. And so, our tale comes to a close, with laughter ringing in the air and hearts a little fuller. Remember, young heroes, bravery comes in many forms, and kindness is the mightiest of them all. Good night, and may your dreams be filled with adventures as grand as Hercules and as joyful as Squeaky's laughter. <laughs>